You're going to be very surprised what you can accomplish with a couple steaks, a couple other things, and only one pan. This is one of Mrs. Cooking Guy's favorite recipes. In fact, I haven't made it in an awful long time. Max was scoping the Cooking Guy website and went, hey, what about these honey mustard steaks? And I was like, hey, what about them? I think I said, what are these honey oh, mustard Oh, he goes, steaks? what are they? And I go, it's only your mother's favorite thing that I haven't made forever. It's so good, it's one pan, it's great. Look, if this recipe can't get you nothing will. Did you just bleep that? He bleeped it. All I said was Oh, he's doing it again. I think people know what I'm But I think people know that I I will sneak it in at some point while I'm Damn it. You're very good. You're very good, Max. All right. It starts with a couple steaks. Shall we look at them? Do it. Dun, 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 dun. Hello. Hello, little ribeye wagyu fellas. Sticking to the, wow. I dried them off so well that they, they stuck. Do you know what these need? Salt and pepper. A little oil first. We always do that. Do they not need salt and pepper, you dick? Yes, they need salt and pepper, but not first. Wow. Avocado oil, because it smokes at the highest possible temperature, 500 degrees. It would be a sin to use anything else. And then we'll season well. Because these are nice thick little guys, so we won't be cheap with this. We'll flip them over again, a little bit more. And I like the edges, don't forget the edges. You can just drag it along in here, and the stuff that's already on the paper, you can use more, whatever you want. And that's it. Beautifully seasoned little steaks. They're ready for our one pan that everything goes in. Okay, so you can see the cast iron pan is on the grill. The grill is really just a stove that's outside. You can use it for pans and all kinds of stuff. Here's how we tell if it's hot. A little bit of water, we splash it in. That's what we want. We want a hot pan. And when we have our hot pan, we can put our steaks in like this. Gorgeous. You can see this guy's a little thicker than this one. So this guy's going to come out first, then this guy. We're using that technique I've talked about before. It's called turn the frickin' thing all the time. That way, it cooks evenly. Leave it for a minute and a half or so, then turn it a minute and a half or so, then turn it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you put in your instant read thermometer and it comes out where you want it, which for me is probably about 100 and... 27, 28 degrees. Because then we need to make the sauce for it. Still in that pan, but everybody's clear about this? Crystal. Crystal clear? Good. And don't forget one thing. This recipe could probably get you <laughs> He's so good, isn't he? Let's turn. I know you're looking at this going, hey, Sam, it's not ready yet. No. It's not ready yet, but remember, we're going to turn it. We're going to turn it. It's going to be great. Color's going to get better. whole thing's going to look beautiful. Not to worry. Not to worry. There's really not a whole lot to do at this point. Just cook, turn, cook, turn. And you want to do it in this pan because you want the benefit of the stuff that's left on the bottom after Max. We know what that's called. Fun. Fond, F-O-N-D. We're fond of the fond. We're fond of the fond. Those little bits in there are going to just amplify the flavor when it's all finished. Did I just come up with a new t-shirt? Fond of the fond? Fond of the fond. Yes. Beautiful. I'll give it another 30 seconds. I'll go to a clean part of the pan where it's a little hotter. And we're turning again. Color starting to deepen a bit. Exactly as promised. Well, this is going to be fantastic. It's just going to be fantastic. This is the Canadian version of steak au poivre, isn't it? I guess it could be. I mean, there's really not enough poivre in this to make it that. Like, there's a considerable steak amount. Honey mustard. Steak au honey mustard. And then more turning. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
You know, a cast iron pan is perfect for this. I say it all the time, it's hardy, they're sturdy. One of the cheapest things that you can own, but one of the most useful things you can own. And they're essentially bulletproof. Oh, and by the way, if we could travel again, we could go source our very own cast iron pan product. Could be the cooking guy cast iron pan. My stupid logo stamped right in the handle or something, it'd be great. But look, while we're here and waiting, wait, let me just turn this. Let me just turn this once more. Nobody move. It's so pretty. Maybe a month or so ago, somebody asked the question, what do we drink? My friend, Greg Rempe, the Barbecue Central radio show that I'm on first Tuesday of every month, was watching with his daughter. His daughter, Maddie, apparently at the back of the room, watching on her phone or some small device. When I picked this up, she went, black tea. Just like that. She knew right away, this was black tea. Well, let's just see how clever Maddie from Cleveland, Ohio is when I show her Max's choice. What's this, Maddie? Uh, any idea now? You don't know, do you? Let's see. Comment. Everybody's got a comment. And what is us. it? You guys can decide. What does Max drink? Okay, the steaks, the steaks. So we're not there yet, but let's just check temperature. Instant read thermometer, in we go. 113, 114. Ow, it's hot. Why am I surprised? 120, right? So see, the smaller one's going faster. Another couple minutes, and this guy's off for sure. Minute or so after that, this guy's off. Aren't they pretty little ones? One more check, 127. Ow, shit, that's hot. I'm gonna take this little guy off. Let's check the big boy, and the big boy is 122, so another couple minutes for him, and then we move on. This guy's ready, out we go. Okay, steaks are resting, let's make some honey mustard, and then we'll carry on with our sauce. And our honey mustard looks like this. Equal parts mayo, Dijon mustard. Why does it do that to me? I hate you. And honey, a tiny splash of apple cider vinegar for just a little kick. Pinch of salt and pepper, and we mix. Look, you can buy your own honey mustard, but don't, because this is better. Perfecto. Quick taste. Heavenly, oh my. And don't forget the apple cider vinegar. It is key. All right, now on we go to our sauce. So turn the heat down a little bit, add a little splash more oil, and then in some diced yellow onion. What the hell? One small yellow onion. We're gonna let this soften for a couple minutes. So here's what we do. We want garlic, we want some oil. Next we're gonna add our vermouth about a third of a cup. It will uh, not just help the fond that's stuck on the bottom come up and enhance the flavor. And if you're new here, or you're new to cooking, vermouth is your stand-in buddy. It's a shelf-stable alcohol that takes the place of white wine in many dishes, specifically this one. And oh yes, your snobby chef friends will tell you, never use a wine you wouldn't drink. Well, I use this for martinis which means I drink it, so screw them. I can always have this at the ready and I don't have to open a bottle of wine just for a little flavor. And when most of the liquid is burned off, we add a couple other things. About a half a cup of heavy cream. And now three or four tablespoons of our honey mustard. It's already starting to bubble around the edge. Nice little splash of Worcestershire. Decent pinch of kosher salt and pepper and mix. And here's what's gonna happen. The cream starts to evaporate, thicken, and the sauce becomes freaking spectacular. And look now, gorgeous. So we want it thicker a little bit. When you kill the heat, it's gonna still get a little bit thicker too, but let's just bring it along for another minute or so. It's really looking beautiful. And I can tell you how this is gonna taste. It's gonna be outstanding. Astro agrees. Astro, you can't have it, Astro. It's all ours. In the meantime, we'll cut our steaks. Get ready. All righty. 
Now the fun part. We have our two gorgeous steaks. Should we cut them? Let's cut this guy first, the bigger one. Just like this. Ah, look. What is this? This is considered a uh, beautifully cooked steak. Why? Because of how we cooked it in the pan. And what did we do? Chance, remind us what we did. We turned it a lot. We turned it a lot. We turned, we turned, we turned. Oh my. How beautiful is that? How beautiful is that? Okay, hold on. Everybody needs a little bite. Chancey, take Thank a piece. You, sir. Maxie, take a piece. I will have a piece. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Just you wait. Mm. No, this guy. We're cutting against the grain. Still perfect. And when you cut against the grain, you shorten up the fibers, thereby making it more tender. Cut with the grain, you're elongating those fibers and you're just fing yourself. I mean, making it more chewy. That's All right. what she said, elongating those I fibers. I don't think that's what she said. <laughs> so here's our sauce. Oh, look how beautiful that is. Dang. Okay, so here's the move. Here's what I think the move is. We take the steak, we go just like this. Look at, look at what we've got here. Oh boy. I don't know if anybody could argue with how gorgeous that is. And the only other thing, little parsley, it's a little green, Max. You know how important a little green is to me. Me too. And I think you got, <laughs> I think you got to call it a day on that. That's gorgeous, man. That is unbelievable. I think I'm going to have to go buy another steak and make this for mom. So there you have it. I mean, I don't know. It looks perfect to me. It's one of my favorite things. As this sauce sits, it gets a little darker. You can see it's lighter underneath. I just love the way it looks right now, though. And the only thing to do then is take a piece of steak and just go right in. And don't be shy. Because shy is, is not a good quality when it comes to eating food is it? Shy is bad. We want to be a little piggy here for ourselves. There's always the smell test. Mm. Look. Honey mustard. You get the little hint of the mustard. You get that little tiny bit of vinegar kick in there. Plenty of onions. The deliciousness of the cream that just become one with everything that's there. Oh my God. I don't know why I'm going to these back pieces, but this is tremendous. And it's easy. I'm telling you, it's easy. Get an instant read thermometer. Don't screw up your steak. Make this. As I said in the beginning, if this can't get you Nothing will. Here's what I predict. This episode airs. Thousands of people make it. N nine months from now, you know. You know. Thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging, subscribing, liking, hitting the notification bell. And remember, we're giving away an awesome array of stuff. An awesome array of stuff. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth thousands of Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of stuff. What do you need to do? You need to be a subscriber. It's all it takes. You want to go beyond? You want to send us something saying why you're deserving? You can do that. What if you sent us something saying why a neighbor of yours or a friend of yours is deserving? Would we trust that man? We might. We might. With a little research. Well, holy Can't shit. Can't get anything past us. Oh, it's hot. Nobody's getting any of this. All me. Just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water, it's not, ladies and gentlemen, because the knives are back. Yes, the 7-inch Nakiri Essential Knife, my favorite, is here to order now. But wait, don't stop there because there's other knives that come along with it, including the 8-inch Chef's Knife. This will become one of your new best friends. And don't think that's all, because it isn't, because we have an 8-inch serrated offset bread knife. It's genius with the offset handle. And your new best little buddy, the four inch perfect pairing knife. Who wouldn't love one of these? Who wouldn't love all of these? You can go to the Make America Cook Again website right now and get yours and get yours and get yours or order for friends. Yes, right now, they're in stock.